Hi, I'm Danny Ayres and this is a video to accompany my proposal for Fluent 2014. So, the starting point for what I'd like to present is the observation that most developers um, are trying to build a system or parts of the system that fit in, in the environment. The environment typically is the web and um, I personally believe that a lot of those developers are missing some easy tricks when it comes to exploiting what the web's got to offer. Now, um, there are two architectural points I'd like to bring up. One is the use of URLs wherever you possibly can, and the other is um, trying to move towards a kind of agent-oriented architecture, almost like the old school artificial intelligent bit of um, intelligent autonomous agents, but in the web context they're almost certainly going to be much dumber. Um, recent developments with things like HTML5, the APIs around there, lots of use of JSON APIs. Um, the materials there to build this kind of stuff, but it isn't really been exploited as far as it could be. Um, say for example um, you've got a, uh, some rich application that's running from a server, um, the JavaScript's loaded locally, you could view what's going on in the browser as an agent running there, um, autonom autonomous from the server side. Um, now there's no reason not to consider um, a more generalised picture where the agent in its more generalised form would include um, um, some kind of input and output which would be the client and server parts of HTTP. Um, probably some local storage, maybe just in memory, uh, plus some kind of behaviour. Now if you've got, if you imagine such a system server side, then just in the same way that you could have the behaviour movable code on demand in the client on the browser, um, you could pass across some JavaScript to the server and have a general purpose system given specific behaviour. Uh, that's just an example though. Um, the key part is to exploit the web to enable the decoupling of systems um, so that um, you can interconnect things in a much bigger variety of ways. Um, for example, with um, JSON, typically JSON APIs, um, you'll have name value pairs a lot or little structures like that. The problem is they're very localised and it, that and you do get a tendency, you have to build a effectively a proprietary client to go with the specific server, the specific API. Now if you include um, URLs in the messages that have been passed to and from, um, you can provide all the necessary contact, context so that you could, imp you could potentially use any sufficiently able client against any sufficiently able server. Um, so that's the gist of it. Try and um, promote the URL, um, the architect agent-ish architecture, um, and then I'd, I'd like to also bring in a little bit of, well, oh, uh, going a bit further into the HTTP side of things, a, bit, a little bit on, on REST, content negotiation, stuff on more general hypermedia, how JSON can be hypermedia. Um, and then leading into a little bit on the good bits of linked data. I really don't want to delve too deeply into RDF, but just pull out some of the nice bits. Um, and that's about it really. Thank you.